Hello, how to solve the ray power of x plus x is equal to 30. To find the value of x from this equation. So first we take x into the right side. So it will be 3 power of x is equal to 30 minus x. Then we take 30 minus x into this side and 3 power of x into this side. So it will be 30 minus x is equal to 3 power of x. Then we divide by 3 power of x in both sides. Then from the denominator of 3 power of x, we'll apply the rule 1 over a power of m is equal to a power of negative m. So it will be 30 minus x bracket. Then the denominator of 3 power of x to be times 3 power of negative x is equal to 3 power of x divided by 3 power of x is 1. Then in next step, from here we have power of negative x, in here we have negative x. So to have power of 30 in here, we will multiply by 3 power of 30 in both sides. Then it will be 30 minus x bracket times 3 power of negative x times 3 power of 30 is equal to 1 times 3 power of 30. Then our question will be 30 minus x bracket times same base of 3 power of 30 minus x. Then bracket, now this power is same as this base, which is equal to this times this is 3 power of 30. Then in next step, from this exponent with base of 3, we will apply exponential rule that e power of l and a is equal to a. Then 3 to be equal to e power of l and 3. So we'll substitute e power of l and 3 into this 3. Then our equation will be 30 minus x bracket then times 3 is same as e power of l and 3. Then bracket power of this 30 minus x bracket is equal to this 3 power of 30. Then in the next step, it will be 30 minus x bracket then times e power of 30 minus x bracket times power of ln 3 is equal to 3 power of 30. Then, in the next step, as in here in the power, we have 30 minus x bracket power of L and 3. Here we have 30 minus x. So, 12 L and 3 will multiply by L and 3 in both sides. So, it will be 30 minus x bracket times L and 3 times this e power of 30 minus x bracket L and 3 is equal to 3 power of 30 times ln 3. Then in next step, we'll apply W Lambert function in both sides. So it will be W, then bracket this, which is 30 minus x bracket ln 3 times e power of 30 minus x bracket ln 3 bracket is equal to w bracket 3 power of 30 times ln 3 bracket. Then from here when you apply w Lambert function is in form of w bracket a e power of a bracket is equal to a. So as we have power of 30 minus x bracket L and 3 and base of 30 minus x L and 3, then in here it will be 30 minus x bracket L and 3 is equal to this W bracket 3 power of 30 times L and 3 bracket. Then in next step, our equation will be 30 minus x bracket ln3 is equal to w bracket then from 3 power of 30 
is same as 3 power of 3 then times this ln 3 times 3 power of 27 bracket as 3 power of 3 times 3 power of 27 is 3 power of 30 3 plus 27 is 30 then in next step our question will be 30 minus x bracket ln 3 is equal to w bracket 3 power of 3 is 27 ln 3 then times this 3 power of 27 bracket then in next step from the exponent of 3 power of 27 in this base of 3 we will apply the same rule 3 is equal to e power of ln 3 Therefore, we substitute here e power of ln 3, then our question will be 30 minus x bracket ln 3 is equal to w bracket 27 ln 3 times this 3 is e power of ln 3 bracket power of 27 bracket. Then in next step, our question will be 30 minus x bracket ln3 is equal to w bracket then we open these brackets so it will be 27 ln3 then times this e power of 27 ln3 then bracket now as here we have power of 27 ln3 and this base of 27 ln3 when we apply w Lambert function in the form of w a e power of a is equal to a so in here it will be 27 ln 3 then it will be 30 minus x bracket ln 3 is equal to 27 ln 3 then in next step ln 3 is in both sides so it will cancel then it will be 30 minus x is equal to 27 then we take 30 to the right side it will be negative x is equal to 27 minus 30 then it will be minus x is equal to this minus this is negative 3 so x is equal to 3 therefore this is our final answer thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye